sometime when you try to report a variable, uh, you report the frequency distribution, right? So we did this for categorical variable, like a male and female, we have two classes. But if you wish to actually do something similar to this, to quantitative variable, okay, you want to be able to generate a table that provide classes and also report the frequency distribution. Right? How do you do that? Well, let's look at this this data we have. We, we just deal with the height variable, right? So height variable, we haven't done anything on weight variable, but maybe play with the weight variable. Okay. So if you look at the weight variable, let's look at it. Descriptive Statistic Explorer, I just want to give you a quick idea about this weight variable. Click that in there and click OK. I'm just dropping high and putting weight in there. Okay. So I, actually what I want to find out is range of weight, right? Actually minimum 106 and maximum 235. And I want to produce a frequency distribution table for the quantitative variable. Uh, <clears throat> SPS doesn't have anything that allows you to automatically do that, and not many software do that. Right? But there's a way you can do that that is actually categorize this uh, weight variable. So weight variable um, range from 106 to 235. So what about, let's split it into uh, like uh, three classes, actually 100 to 150, 150 to 200. 200 to 250, that's three classes, right? You can do that. Or maybe you want to have every 20 as a class. I'm just, you know, trying to show you, so I just I, I cheat a little bit. I just define three classes, right? So what I can do is I can use the recode option in SPSS to let me recode these range of data from 106 to 235, code them into three different classes, right? How do I do that? Of course, one purpose of that is categorize these data and I'll be able to produce a frequency table. Right. So my goal is to change actually weight variable, make them one, two, three, three classes. So class one will represent a data that is between 100 to less than 150. And second class is 150 to less than 200. So, okay. so to do that, I click transform. This is a place you can do the recoding. And I go down to recode to different variables, which means once I've done my recoding, I'm going to create a new variable and store the results, right? If you choose recode into the same variable, then the original value will be all replaced by the new variable. You don't want to do that, right? So I do the recode into different variables. <coughs> what I want to recode, I want to recode weight. So I select weight in there. Want to keep the new variable since you're going to have an output variable that store the new data, new value. I'm going to call that C weight. So it's going to be categories or classes. I'm going to call it C weights. And label, I'm going to call it weight. You can you can name it whatever you want. This is like variable label, right? And you click change. What this would do is you allow the change once you specify that what change you want to do. It'll make the change and recode the data and create a new variable called C weight with a, with a new code. Okay, so this is just for getting ready. So what you want to do now is click on O and new value to specify this value. So I can have range of value from 100 to 150. Right? I say 150. Uh, probably better not to 150. Maybe up to 149. So then the next class will be 150 to, to actually 199, right? So we won't have actually overlap in these ranges. So when you have range value range from 100 to 149, I'm going to give that new value called 1. So that will allow you to recode data value. If you have any data value that's range from here to here, 100 to 149, you have a new value called 1, okay? Next range is 150 through 199. So that covered data value from 150 to less than 200. I'm going to give that a new value 2 and click add. Okay. And the last range is like 200 to 249 or 250. It doesn't matter because I know my largest number is 230 something. Okay. 
I'm going to call that, let me be consistent, 249. Call that value 3. Now, if there's any missing or use of missing, any kind of missing value, I'm going to just stay as missing value. So I've done my setup for recoding. Okay? Make sense? Okay. Then I click continue. Here is a thing. I can click OK to actually do the recoding. I can also do the paste. This paste function will paste the actual SPS syntax and put it in the SPS syntax file. So if I click paste, it tells you the program, the SPS syntax program, that will do the same thing. Okay. This is one way you can write your SPS program without knowing actually the SPS program. The, the syntax of the SPS program. You can just use SPS to generate it. And if you want to run any part of the program, you can just highlight it and click this green you know, tri triangle, point to the right. Click on that. It'll execute that. Okay. So let me try that. Click that. Let's go back to my data. You have a C weight variable now. Okay. So it can be done if you do this transform. We go into a different variable and click OK. I didn't tickle, click OK. I click Paste and generate syntax and run syntax. However, you can actually click OK if you want to. It'll do the same thing. Okay? So I'm not going to do that since I've done that already. Now I have these data. I can label these data value, right? So I use a value 1. Remember, this is C weight. So I click this value column for that C weight. Click in there. Value 1 should be... 100 to less than 150. Okay, 2 is 150 to less than 200. Then 3 is 200 to less than 250. Oh. And that's all the three values I have. Right, so I click OK. Go back to the data. Now, it has these three classes, okay? It has an internal value, one, two, three. Then, if I do the analyze descriptive frequency, because now they are categorical now, right? Take this gender out and put this weight classes, and look at that symbol here. That's a nominal. That indicates it's a nominal data, right? So, I'm going to click uh, OK. Give me these frequency table with three ranges, three class range. Okay. So if you really want to produce a frequency distribution table for quantitative variable, you can do this. You set up classes for them, right? And then consider that as a categorical, since it's classes, right? Categorical. And then you can 